Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and having a nice Sunday morning. Um, I wasn't sure what to film this week because one of my sponsored videos got pushed back a week. So I didn't have a video for this Sunday. And I put something on Instagram stories saying um, I haven't done a monthly favourite since May. Which I don't know if any of you guys have noticed. I kind of didn't realise it had been that long. I suppose I had all the house renovation stuff going on. But I just found that my monthly favourites were getting a little bit boring and repetitive. I didn't always have like that many like different things to talk about because I don't use that much like different makeup anymore I've kind of found what works for me and every now and again I add in some new stuff so I thought maybe today I'd do like a current favorites video so talk about some things that I've been loving over the past few months and a lot of you seem to like that idea you said you're quite into the idea of like seasonal favorites so maybe I'll go with that for the future let me know what you think if you still like monthly favorites or if you like them a bit more spread out and for this favourites video, I thought maybe I would do it around the house, seeing as we've recently done our house, so I can do some like makeup stuff in the bedroom, skincare and bathroom stuff, and then I could take you downstairs and talk about like TV and maybe some kitchen stuff. And I haven't like overly planned this one at all, I haven't got a list or anything, I'm kind of just gonna like grab stuff as I see it, so it's all very chilled and relaxed today. So I am in my bedroom at my beauty desk and let me show you some bits of makeup and stuff that I've really been enjoying. Um, first of all, this NARS primer, which I got on the Ibiza NARS press trip. I mix this with my Smashbox primer just because I love that primer so much, I can't bear not to use it. It's so lovely and hydrating. So I do like two pumps of the Smashbox and then I squeeze a little bit of this out this is the NARS Radiance Primer. Um, it has SPF 35 in it, which isn't really something I need because I put on my SPF separate anyway, but it's, it's good to have. And it's kind of like a pink, it comes out quite pink toned and it's pink and glowy and gorgeous, but it doesn't like look pink on the skin. It's just really pretty and radiant and it, it just gives me that like shot of glow that I really need under my makeup. Jamie Genevieve was the one who was like, you have to try this. And her skin always looks so beautiful and glowing. So I really like this. I really love the packaging. It's so small and just like easy. Like the Smashbox one comes in a glass um, bottle and so it's a bit more like clunky. I think this is very clever packaging for primer for a primer I've got a couple of Charlotte Tilbury products which I spoke about in one of my recent videos But it wasn't a favorites first of all the magic away concealer. Oh my god I've used so much of this already look it's like almost finished. This is such a great concealer um, I still don't love the sponge applicator, but it is easy to use. It's just a bit messy I just find that I put the concealer on and then whether I use a sponge or if I use like my Real Techniques setting brush, which is the one I use for concealer, it gives such good coverage, but it's such a nice like glowy finish as well. It's not heavy at all. And I'm always, every time I use it, I'm surprised that I don't need like more than it's actually enough coverage. This is a really nice concealer. So I would definitely recommend trying that one. And then the other favorite is her Pillow Talk palette, which I think might be sold out, but I'm sure they're going to come back in stock. I don't think it was like limited edition. This is what I'm wearing today on my eyes, if you can see, and I just really like it. It's a very gorgeous pinky toned. Um, I don't use the glitter shades. So that's kind of wasted on me, but I do like the kind of shimmery highlight one. And then these two in particular, I really like this top one all over the lid and then the bottom one in on the outer part of the eye. And it's a really nice kind of warm pinky brown color. So loving that palette. And then for mascara, I have just been obsessed with this Smashbox uh, mascara. It's called the Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. Me and Anna recently did an event with Smashbox um, where we kind of sat and did our makeup with some of you guys. So thank you if you came to that. And we were like, this mascara is amazing. It's the only mascara that me and Anna both like because we normally have quite different tastes in mascaras. And when the people at the event were using it, they were like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm wearing it today and I just think it gives such nice kind of long full lashes um very impressed with this mascara i would definitely repurchase it this is what the brush looks like so it's kind of one of those like plasticky brushes and i think it is a great mascara so if you're in the market for a new one try that because i don't think i would have gone to smashbox for mascara before so impressed um i think anna was the one who was like you need to try that um, this product isn't so much a favorite more like i tried it for the first time this morning and want to tell you about it because it's quite exciting it's a new palette from hourglass they bring out these palettes quite often this one is the ambient lighting edit unlocked 
and it's got this little like rabbit on the front it, sorry it's like reflecting really badly in the windows and that is to show that this product is vegan i'm pretty sure all their products are cru cruelty free but the little rabbit is to show that this palette is vegan so if you're into that kind of thing quite interesting to know but this is what it looks like these are quite bronzy shades so i put those kind of on the tops of my cheekbones um this highlight is really really gorgeous and then i really love the blush tones I think this is like one of the first Hourglass palettes where I feel like I like all the shades. Really, really nice. I tried it for the first time at a Space NK event recently. There was a guy from Hourglass there and he like put it on Anna and, and myself and it looked amazing. So that's quite an exciting new launch. Um, and then the last thing in my bedroom, I think, I don't know if I've forgotten anything, um, is this. It's from Therapy, which is um, Michelle Rocco Neal's brand, a uh, brand which I absolutely love. I talk about their bath salts all the time. But I've got quite a few different products from her. Her smelling salts are amazing. This is the Restore Aura Spray. And this is basically, uh, actually, let me read what it says. Whether it's your hectic life, travel or work schedule, you're feeling stressed, tired and simply in need of a breather. Use this elixir to help calm, revive and balance. It's instant rescue. A vital infusion of organic floral waters, plant extracts and space clearing oils and centering crystal essence of amethyst, rose quartz and aqua aura. I've been feeling super anxious recently. I don't know why, but I wake up in the mornings and I just, I don't know, I... I'm not going to go into it. I've been feeling really anxious recently and um, this actually has really been helping. So I just kind of like missed a little bit. And the smell is just so calming. I can't really explain what it smells like. It does actually smell quite similar to the bath salts. But it's so calming. And I don't really have like things that I can do when I feel anxious because I'm not that used to it. I wouldn't say like I am the most anxious person ever. So I haven't got like a set routine of like I know how to make myself better. So any kind of new things that I'm learning, I'm like, okay, this this helps. <laughs> so that's really good. I would recommend it even if you don't feel anxious. It's just a really lovely like calming mist. So let me take you into the bathroom and we can talk about skincare and body stuff. Okay, I am in the bathroom. So apologies if things are a bit more echoey. Um, but let me see what I've got to show you in here. Uh, okay, first thing is a deodorant. Um, I've always used Mitchum, um, but I thought I would try something a bit more like natural because I guess when you're putting deodorant on, you're putting it straight into your glands. Um, your underarms are quite like a direct sensitive place. Um, and a friend of mine's always used organic, like natural deodorant. So I was in, what was it? It's like as nature intended. It's kind of like a health food store. And I just saw this and was like, oh, maybe I'll give it a try. Um, I know the brand Jason. I've tried something else from them before. I can't remember what. And um, this is their soothing aloe vera deodorant roll-ons. It's got no aluminium in it, no parabens or anything like that. Um, I think it's the aluminium, which is like the nasty stuff. Um, and I've always thought that these deodorants just wouldn't work, but it works. I don't sweat or smell when using it, so that's good to know. It's nice to use something a little bit more natural. I've got so many Drunk Elephant products here that I'm loving because I've recently did a job with Space NK who have brought um, Drunk Elephant over from America to launch it here. There's one product that they're not selling here and I keep getting DMs about it and it's because it's too strong um, legally, they can't stock it in the UK. But I'm just gonna point out a couple of products that I like. I know that they're really expensive products, but if you're really into your skincare, um, and you've been excited for Drunk Elephant, then let me just tell you which products I like. So the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This is a really, really nice hydrating serum. So I've been enjoying that. And then um, they do a C Firma Day Serum. So this is like um, a vitamin C serum. And this one's more of like a liquid. So I do like a couple of pumps of that and then one pump of that mixed in in the morning. And that's a really nice combination. Other than that, I mean, I like the cleanser. There's quite a few things that I like, but I think another standout one would be the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. They've got two eye creams and they're both actually really nice. Um, I always forget to use eye creams, but if it's like a really nice step in your routine, you enjoy doing it, then I remember. So those are very nice. Have I got anything else in the cupboard? I've kind of talked to you about the main Lindstrom stuff that I was enjoying. Um, so I don't think there's anything else in there. Let me just grab some stuff from the shower. Oh, it's just had a shower, so everything is wet. This is new from Kiehl's and I've been loving it. It's called the Made For All Gentle Body Wash and it is just really, really gentle. It says it's made with soap tree extract and sustainably sourced aloe vera. It smells really nice. Like, 
a subtle but fresh scent. And I love that it comes in this massive bottle. So me and Rich share that in the shower and it's so, so nice. Um, also, I've gone back, oh, so wet. I've gone back to using the IGK Hot Girls Shampoo and Conditioner. I ran out of my shampoo and conditioner and saw this in Space and K and I was like, yes, I loved this one. And it's, it's just so good. It's such a good range for hydrating um, if you've got like drier hair like me. So I'm loving using that again. Okay, I think that's everything from the bathroom. So let's head downstairs. Okay, I'm downstairs in the lounge. And by the way, I'm so happy that we went with Hague Blue. I love this color so much. It gets such a good reaction when people come in and it feels so calming in the evening. I, I'm so happy with it. So what am I gonna talk about in here? TV stuff. Oh, I mean, I've been watching so much good TV. I feel like I can't possibly talk about them all. Um, also, I watched This Is Us last night and it's unbelievable at the moment. It's still like my favorite show ever. If you haven't yet watched it, do it. Um, other things on TV that we have been loving, Rich and I, um, Killing Eve. Well, actually there's three, there's three programs I wanna talk about. First of all, Bodyguard, which was I think a BBC um, drama and it was very much like BBC style, um, kind of a UK drama and it was so gripping. Um, it was about the home, secretary's bodyguard and very much about like terrorism and i'm sure most of you have probably watched it if you haven't watched it so so good but that after that we watched killing eve which is different it's more it's less like bbc and i actually think even though the bodyguard was brilliant i preferred killing eve um it had one of like my favorite actresses in it um she played christina in gray's anatomy and it was like two leading women and it was it's so brilliant, sorry, I'm terrible at explaining things. It is, Killing Eve is about a serial killer. No, not a serial killer, what's it called? When they're like, an assassin and a detective who's trying to like catch her. Um, and it's brilliant and the styling, the outfits, everything. Oh, I just, I think it's gonna, I think they're gonna come back with the second season, I really hope they do. And then the third program that we started watching, we haven't finished, we're halfway through, is called Trust. And it's all about the Getty family and the kidnapping of Paul Getty the, the third or whatever, the grandson. Um, very good as well. So those are my three TV recommendations. And I guess while I'm here, I could talk about like podcast stuff as well. The one podcast that's kind of stood out to me um, is a, the recent Desert Island Discs. Um, they've got a new presenter, which is very strange, um, but she's very good at it. She interviewed Tom Daly, the Olympic diver. And it was such a good interview. He talked about like, the sad death of his dad, he talked about his career, he talked about um, surrogacy and kind of covered so much and I've always been a massive fan of Tom Daly and he speaks so well and it was a really interesting listen so definitely I would recommend that one. Actually one more thing while I'm here because this is behind me here, um, when we moved in we did a massive order on Patch and if you guys haven't heard of Patch it's a really clever idea, it's a website where you can order plants. I find um, that when I go to garden centers, I get really overwhelmed. And I find that when I go to places like Ikea, the, the quality of the plants aren't very good. Um, so Patch is a brilliant website where you can pick and order plants and they come in different sizes. And then each plant comes with like a video on how to look after it. Um, a really engaging, easy to watch video. Um, and I, you can refer back to the website at any point if you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to water this plant. It's genius. We, we got two rubber plants. I got a couple of smaller ones as well. And then this is like a fiddly fig. The only thing I would say is, is this one did come like a little bit damaged. Like some of, some of the leaves had holes in it and stuff, but I'm kind of not that bothered by that. It still looks really good. Um, and we're trying desperately not to kill any of them. So far, so good. Okay, I'm in the kitchen and um, I forgot to mention a book that I read slash listened to the audiobook and really enjoyed. Um, Lily Allen, My Thoughts Exactly. Lots of people have been talking about it. I listened to the audiobook um, and it was read by her, which was really nice to listen to actually. I found it fascinating. Um, I learned so much about her that I didn't already know. Did not realize how many like traumatic experiences she's been through and how kind of messed up her upbringing was really. Um, and as a reader, it did actually make me feel quite stressed at times. Um, she's so good at writing that you really kind of take on some of her experiences. So just a warning in case you don't like feeling like that. There were a couple of times where I thought actually I need to have a break from this because it's quite intense. But I did the whole thing and I thought it was brilliant. And yeah, I think it's definitely worth reading or listening to the audiobook. In the kitchen, there's only one thing I want to talk about because this got so much love on a recent vlog. I had to mention it, um, really funny. 
This is my garlic crusher. Um, I used it in a video, I think. It's from Joseph and Joseph. Um, and it's so clever. You just put the garlic bulb on the chopping board and then you rock this back and forth and it, using these holes, which kind of freaked me out a bit, um, it like smushes all the garlic into it. And I much prefer it than one that you use like that. I think this one works better and you can like easily scrape off any excess. <laughs> so that is a bit random, but I've been loving that in my kitchen. I haven't really got anything else. Oh, I've got this to talk about. This is what I use for my um, overnight oats or porridge. Um, it is the Flahavens, Flahavens brand, um, Irish multi-seed porridge oats. This one, so this, that's pretty like standard um, brand, I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but this is the one with sunflower, flax, pumpkin, and hemp seeds. It's got added seeds, um, and it just gives that like extra nice crunch to like muesli or porridge. Um, and yeah, me and Rich both use these and love them. Also bought these on Amazon and they're really handy for when you like roll things down. I am going to be doing a kitchen tour soon. I just feel like I'm not ready yet, but I will. So I think that's everything. Lots of random kind of recent current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will see you next week for a new video, which I think is going to be like a what I eat in a day with Rich. So like a what we eat in a day. Let me know if you would like to see that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.